Hey guys, happy Friday. I did something different today. I could not decide if I wanted to just do a regular Friday haul or did I want to do a tutorial Friday haul. So what I did is I recorded myself putting on my makeup today. Hopefully I will have time because I'm gonna to have to like double edit. Hopefully I'll have time to put little clips in here of me using these products. I think that is just the best because I really, I don't ever want you to like go get something that I show until I've used it. But then sometimes I hate to use things until I've told you about them. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, so let's get started. I figure what I'll do is I'll kind of work through my entire face. Yesterday when Brooke and I went to Sephora. I really love our new Sephora that is in Kohl's. It is so much better than the one that was in JCPenney's. And a girl I went to high school with is the manager there, and she has been in makeup for so long, years and years and years. Yesterday, she spent some time with me just kind of taking me around and showing me some of her favorite products. And one of them is this. This is the sample. This is the lighter one. And I bought, I wanted both of them because this one is the one I use today. It's the Iconic London Radiance Booster, and this is Honey Glow that I have on today. You will see it is incredibly dark and probably a little too dark for me now, but I just, at that moment, I made the decision. I kind of wanted to use one that was in the package, but let me show you for reference the lighter one because I think that will be the one that most of you will like and they're out of it and she said that she loves it so much she wears it on her days off and she mixes it with foundations she you know wears it underneath foundations she said she likes it so much that she considered ordering from somewhere e somewhere else it's got the best consistency this is the lighter version one thing too guys is all my makeup's up here now and so I've been doing my makeup up here, which is really weird for me. I mean, can you see how pretty that is? It is beautiful. I went to go get Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in maybe a little bit darker color, but I ended up getting this instead. It's just so smooth and yummy and emollient feeling, yet a little bit, a little tiny bit tacky. It basically rubs in, but just, I mean, from first swipe, I knew I had to have it. What was I saying? Okay, also figured it would be good for me to get ready up here and keep practicing getting ready up here so that I'm better at my tutorials. Then I got several new foundations that I want to show you. I will start with the one that I have on today. This is another thing. I ran into Belk because Ulta was out of a bronzer that I wanted. So I ran into Belks and there was a friend of mine that I have not seen in a long time and she works at the Bobbi Brown counter and she wanted to give me a sample of this just to see how I liked it. But several of you have asked me about this. So we found a shade that is so perfect, hallelujah. You guys, I have had like that makeup forever. What is up with that? I've, I've seen other people. See, I thought it was just me. I thought, okay, I've just lost my touch with finding my right shade. But I have seen other people say the same thing. When we found this one, we went through several others and then we came to the N052 Natural and it is the new formulated Bobbi Brown Intensive Serum Foundation SPF 40. Beautiful packaging. I mean, gorgeous and I did take off my nails. Nightmare, nightmare. Those nails I was wearing had like a sticky tab on them, plus I used glue. It wasn't pretty. I wanted to show you how beautiful this shade is. Natural. So here is the swatch. And the coverage is so pretty. It's supposed to be medium to full, and it does have skincare benefits. And I've really kind of let the matte thing go for a while. I'm hoping that when I set things with powder like I did today, that I will be able to wear maybe some different things in the summer. I won't have to stick with double wear. I did have a wipe out because I knew I was gonna be swatching a lot. 
So loving this so far. Obviously, I just put it on. I just, you know, got it yesterday. So I can't tell you how it wears. If it wears terribly, I will definitely put a note beside this down below. A few other foundations I got that I wanted to show you, and this is kind of going to be a luxury makeup haul. I feel like I've done two back-to-back -back drugstore videos this week, and that last one, if you haven't watched it, the blue smoky eyes or blue bombshell, if you haven't watched that, watch it because there are a lot of good products in that video, including this that I think you should get this weekend. The NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh 8 Hour Spray. So good. You'll see me spray it in the video. I just love that so much. I think you should get it. Okay, but we're gonna, this is kind of like a luxury haul for those of you that love luxury makeup. This is actually a repurchase. It's the Shiseido Self Refreshing Foundation. The color I got is Bamboo. I'm not gonna swatch it or do anything today because I'm gonna be pressed for time here. But this will be, all of these things that you see will be used in upcoming tutorials and get ready with me, trying new products and things like that. Another foundation I got that I'm super excited about, probably the, I would say probably fifth time I've purchased this. I've purchased it in several colors. That's another thing. Remember back in the old days when I feel like my makeup was just really good, I used to always mix foundations. It's very hard to find one formula and one shade that you really like. And I kind of got out of mixing foundations, but I want to start experimenting with that again. So I got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in 6.25. I have had 5.5, I've had 5.75, but this one really looks like a good shade. I've swatched it, so we are gonna play with that one day. Let me know if you are interested in this. I wanted to do, like I did the Tati favorites video, I wanted to do one of several different people, but Michelle Wong, because her makeup, I love it, but it's so different than mine. Her skin is different than mine, but I have a true appreciation for her makeup look and for her taste in makeup. So I ordered the Kogan Doe Aqua Foundation. I actually asked one of the reps what shade would be good for me, and she said, she asked for a reference, so I told her the Charlotte Tilbury Neutral 6, and this is what she suggested that I get. It's number 13, and it looks very, very, very light for me, but I am so tired of returning things that I think this is probably going to be a little bit less coverage anyway, so I'm thinking I might mix it in with something else like the Charlotte Tilbury or something, so we're still going to try it out and just see how it feels and see how much coverage it has. And then this is something I use today. This is her favorite loose powder. It's the Kogan Doe Natural Lighting Powder. I did use this today in my video and I was super impressed because it's not as light as the like Huda Beauty or the Laura Mercier Translucent, but I still think it did a fabulous job at covering my concealer, setting my makeup, and just looking really, really natural and not really luminous, but not matte. And I think a lot of you will love that. This is something that I've purchased many times and I love these. A lot of things I gave away <laughs> and it's not that I didn't like them, but you know, I had a little meltdown. I think I just, I could not stand the clutter and I just got rid of so much, but I'd never had this tone before. It's the Guerlain Meteorites, and this is in Golden. And I th was thinking this would be good for the summer, and these little balls will fly right out of here, so you got to be careful. Hold on. The best thing to do is kind of get your fingernail right in that groove. And when I first got these, I thought they would be wrapped, and they went everywhere. This tone, and they're loose, and because they're this darker tone, I think it might give me a bronzed type setting powder look, but I don't know, I haven't used them. So I want to experience that with you. Think about, I've told you about my primer that I used today, my foundation, okay, concealer, it was too light. It's the Anastasia 
Magic Touch Concealer, but somehow I pulled it off. It is the shade 3, which is, it doesn't have a name. But I do think, I do think it looks pretty. Um, I probably, I've got like a, a lash hanging down. I, I don't think I'll return it because Brooke can use it or something. I just hate returning stuff. But if you want to try this and you're my skin tone, get higher than a three. I bought this a while ago before I realized I was buying my concealers too light, but I really love the coverage. After I did that, oh yes, I wanted to tell you about this last week, but I was pressed for time. The Bronze Goddess Collection from Estee Lauder. I don't know if this is considered luxury, 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 but I think it is. I have loved this. If you've been with me, you know I purchased this almost every season. And this year I was thinking, someone asked me about it and I was thinking, I don't know if I'm going to because I feel like I've been there and done that so many times. But this is a couple of, probably a week ago when I was at Belk, they had the new fragrance. It's the Bronze Goddess Nuit. And it is so fabulous. It, I'm going to put some on now. It Okay, it, it's the same bronze goddess, but it is very, very sophisticated. There's just a little bit more to it. It's like, I don't know what that note is I'm smelling, but it gives me butterflies. It is amazing. You will want to smell like this all summer. Another thing I wanted to tell you, because I know a lot of you are really into fragrances, Patty Stanger, do you remember her from Millionaire Matchmaker? She sent me her new collaboration, Matchmaker Eye of Love Pheromone Parfum. And this is made by a company that specializes in pheromones, like attracting the opposite sex, attracting different things. And she sent me her fragrance in this really cool bottle. It had a little diamond in it. I posted it on Instagram. Before I sprayed it on myself, I like sprayed it in the room and I asked, it was actually in the kitchen and John walked in. It was right before we started making dinner and I asked him if it smelled good and he said yes. For him, that's a big deal and it's just, it's got lots of science behind it. So I will leave the link for this down below and let you read all about it because I think it's interesting and it's something different. You know? Let's see. Okay, so we're back, back to the bronze goddess. This is the eye palette, and it's what I'm wearing today, and I will have to say it is probably the best Bronze Goddess eye palette they've ever had. What makes it the best is it's practical. You have a good crease shade. If you used this alone, it would be enough. You have a good lid color highlight shade. You have a good frosty not real frosty, just a little bit frosty mid-tone. You have a bronzy shade. You have a, is that black or a real, real, real dark blue? I think it's black, but I actually used, you'll see some of this and went over my liner. I used a little bit of this, and this is actually the second time I've used this. I loved it the first time. So, and that's exactly what I was thinking to myself is this is the best, most practical one they have had. The regular bronzer I did not get because I have had that so many times and it just ends up, I usually end up giving it away. I guess it's not my favorite tone or I just like other ones better, but I did get this kind of special bronzer. The number two Sunset. They did have one, I think, lighter than this. Oh my gosh. The first time I used this, I took a big brush. I think it was it might have been this one. It was a big refer brush. And I just put it in there and just like, I mean, it left a slap mark of bronzer on my face. I had to keep going over it with my sponge just to get the edge off of it. What I'm trying to say is it's pigmented, very pigmented. And if that little bit of peachy pink right there is intense, so what I did today is I tried to stay, I used a smaller brush. I think I might've used this brush, the Sonia G. And I go in the bronzer side first, do my bronzer and then dip in the 
beautiful corally pink shade and that is my blush which you will see but it's beautiful it's going to be so good in the summer when we're just wanting to be a bronze goddess and I think it would be good in the crease of your eye too let's go into I think one of my favorite products that I use today and I did not expect to like it this much is my new brow product one of my friends that works at Dior, she showed me this last time and I just, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't into a new brow product, so I didn't think anything of it. And when I went back, I asked her about it and we found it's waterproof. It's the Dior Show Kabuki Brow Styler and my color is gold blonde. That might have been what put me off the first time, but it's not gold blonde. It is so good. For, first of all, when I saw the brush, I thought, what a gimmick. A kabuki, I guess is what they're calling it. It goes through your brows. I mean, I didn't put any brow gel on. It just glides. It really like goes into your brows. I'm worried I just smeared it up by doing that. I shouldn't have done it up so far. Let me swatch it. Isn't it weird? Brow products never swatch like they do. And when they grab your hair, they are a different color. But it is the perfect amount of waxiness, but without being too waxy. You know what I mean? Like some people really like the scratchy ones, and I do too sometimes. I can't remember. I think that even the benefit's kind of scratchy. I loved it. The whole time I was putting this on, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I love this. I love it. So my eyeliner, I kind of made my rounds at Dillard's that day. And I'll tell you, Dillard's has gotten so good. It's, when I walk in, I have that good feeling. Belk's was better yesterday, I think because my friend was there. But Dillard's just feels like a really high-end department store these days. This is the Lancome Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner. It's part of the Edol line. And I use this today. And, I mean, it was good, but I really like my roller liner. I really like other liners. There was something I used the other day that kind of ran. Oh, it was that. It was that Maybelline. That gel liner was not good. I'm going to keep this and I'm going to use it. I liked it. It's just I don't know if it was like out of this world. Okay, this is something I got at the Bobbi Brown counter yesterday. And I have it on today and I want to swatch it. As soon as I got in the car, Brooke had waited in the car. And... I made her swatch it because she loves sparkle and shimmer shadows. Okay, you push this. It's one of these Lux, it's called Moonstone, Lux Eyeshadow Rich Sparkle, and they mean it. It is a Lux Lux Sparkle. And I put it on my eyes today with a brush, but I'm going to, let's see if it's more intense. It is. It is. Okay, don't use a brush. Look at that. They had another one beside it that had more of a shadow look, but this one literally just looks like I'll swatch it on my hand. This one literally just looks like you have, of course I put it right on the brow. See how there's not a lot of color? It just gives you the sparkle over Almost like a glaze or wet look over what you've already put on your lids. Beautiful, no regrets. Might even have to get the other one. And I put this here just to remind me to tell you. This is the Give Me Sun MAC Mineralized Bronzer. I am going to do a MAC Glam Old School tutorial. I have repurchased many things that we loved back at the beginning of YouTube when it was so magical to go to the MAC counter and they were always having those events and the music was pumping and it was just, I mean, I loved it so much. It brings back the best memories. So I have repurchased a lot of my old MAC favorites and we're gonna do a full MAC tutorial soon. Okay, now I'm trying to, we're getting to the bottom here. This is the Huda Beauty Lip Liner in Pinky Brown. I have it on today. At first I was thinking, oh no, it's gonna be too light, but I think it did its job. If I had to say, it is very similar to L'Oreal Matte Stramind, 
but maybe the slightest bit darker. This is what I have on today with, this is very luxurious, the Shantikai Giraffe Collection that I have seen so much about, and I, I'm just so tempted to get that eyeshadow palette, but I don't know. It's like, is it, I didn't know if it was different enough. If you like Shantikai shadows, will you, or if you have that palette, will you let me know? But proceeds go to different, whatever animal, I guess the collection is, and that's a great thing. It does have the giraffe on the packaging. Can you see? And this color is jasmine. Even when I got it, I looked at it and thought, eh, you know, I thought it looked kind of boring. It is beautiful, beautiful. And the consistency is like gorgeous, feels amazing on your lips. It's one of those that doesn't feel too slick. Just so glad I got this. And then I also purchased Tom Ford Gloss in the Buff. I think I got most of this stuff from Beautylish. So just to, I was trying to wear as much stuff as I could, I put this on over it. And this is gonna look good with just gloss. I mean, or just lip liner. I don't know if you'll be able to. Yes, you can. So it has like a very sophisticated sparkle. I did get a couple at Sephora that are not sophisticated. <laughs> And we will try those soon. That is the lip combo that I have on. And I think it is very, it's a bombshell, nice nude lip, but in more of a sophisticated way. Another thing I ordered from Beautylish, and I did show this in my little video today before I put it on, but it was so pretty because it had the sparkle on the butterfly. Someone mentioned this color. When I got it, I thought, mm, it's gonna be too light for me, but I do really like these light pink blushes. So I did put it on today. I will have to look back in the video to see if you could even tell that I did. And I think you can. A lot of times with these light, light pink blushes, it's not that you can see the color, but it almost works as it emphasizes, like emphasizes the, your cheeks and gives you a fullness. I remember that NARS Impassioned was that way and it's beautiful, so no regrets. And then we're getting to the end here. I got this new Estee Lauder pencil. It's called Antique Burgundy. Not my typical color, but what I like about it, I have it on my lower waterline now, is it's not too red. And I thought maybe we could do a Beth Dutton look with that. You have to watch Yellowstone to get what I'm talking about. But she always had a color like this on her eyes, this or black or a combination of both. And so I wanted to just try that. I'm gonna try some different things. I got a palette yesterday that has like baby blue, baby pink, all these light colors. I really want to try new things even if it's not my look. I mean, I'll do it the way I want to for, you know, how I feel, but I'm not going to, you know, stick with only things that I would wear every day. I want to do some different things. I enjoy the challenge. And then two more things. Don't leave me. This is something I did order from Beautylish. It's the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. I could not decide between the light and the dark. Really, I could probably use a combination of them both, but the dark just looked a little more unique to me. So we've got these shadows. So I want to do a, ooh, maybe a snatural. This might be really good for that snatural look from Scott Barnes. Highlight, blush. So we are going to, I haven't taken the little thing off of it yet. We're gonna get into that in one of my videos. Last of the makeup, I do have some clothes to show you. One of you sent me a video on Instagram, and it was a makeup artist. I have started following her. She is so good. I will put her name right here if I can find it. But it's this contraption. It's the, by Guide Beauty, the Guide One Precision Tip Eyeliner Applica Applicator, and I got the kit that comes with the cream liner. Brooke and I played with this a little bit yesterday, but it is this tool, 
and then you take it out, you rub it like this into the cream, and I got the black, but they do have a brown, and then you slide it across, and it's she made it look so easy to make that wing. So I cannot wait to try that. It might be a comedy video. That's okay, we're gonna try it because I think it's neat. And I think if you have trouble, I think it's gonna be really good at that wing that you just pull out, you know? I think it's gonna be neat. I'll be right back with my outfit of the day. I have on a new pair of jeans that you guys are gonna love. Well, half of you will love them, half of you will hate them. And I've even got a pair of pants that I bought my dad I wanted to show you. Okay, and we've, you've probably seen my biggest boy Bubba sleeping in the background. He follows me wherever I go. Chanel and Sassy are on my bed. So you guys have seen this t-shirt before. I love it. It's from Madewell. And I love the sleeves. I love this little lettuce edge. And I love that it's somewhat cropped. These pants are actually considered low rise. Something like boyfriend or some, some kind of loose fit. And it's got the little slit thing on the side, which is, you know, popular now. I know it's crazy for some people, but it's one of those things that's here and you'll probably get used to it. These don't open quite as much. And then I have on my Gucci little platform flip-flops that I love, love, love. I've thought about getting other colors, but I just think black is what I would wear the most. I like the white ones, but I don't like dirty white flip-flops. That poops me out. Then I told you, or I put it down below, that if you like these linen blend pants that I've been wearing, they got them back in stock and I cannot believe it. They're Abercrombie & Fitch. These are small. I just can't believe that they restocked them. I washed my other ones and when I went to hang them to dry, I did not realize they are lined. They're very soft. They have the look of linen but not the feel. They have a very, very flowy, drapey, perfect fit. And they actually now have this color. They actually have this in a lot of different, like shorts and tops and stuff like this. This, even if you're going on vacation, like with your bathing suit, you know, under it, or a bikini top, a crop top, a halter top, a t-shirt, a even a blousy white, Oxford or button down, maybe tied at the waist with this, with some wedges, just beautiful. So get these while you can because they will sell out. I These are backups. I love them so much. I know I'm gonna wear them all summer. I don't want to feel like, I don't, sometimes if I love something, if I wear it over and over, you know, it then starts getting faded and everything. I like to have more than one. That day they were having a sale if you bought more than, I think, three things, it was 25% off. So I got all of these 25% off. And then this is gonna crack you up. My brother, okay, my dad and my brother are both big. Like they are 2X tall. Like I always had to shop in the big man department. You know, they're both really big, not fat, just big, over 6'4". And my brother wears these and he was saying how comfortable they are. They're from Duluth Trading and they are called the Flex Ballroom Jeans. Now, my dad wears a 40, 42, 32. So they look huge, but if you really, you know, think about putting a person in there, they don't, they're not, they don't look as big because Brooke and I couldn't get over it because he's not, you know, he's, Actually, and especially his legs and butt and everything look so thin. And so I got these for my dad and I wanted to show them to you. They're actually on sale, but what's so great about them is they actually have a little bit of flex in the jeans. And I just, you know, I thought maybe one of your son's husband's brothers or somebody you know, it's a relaxed fit that they might enjoy something like this. Okay guys, okay, accessories. Told you I took my nails off. I'm just gonna let them chill for a little bit. So I have on Chanel Ballerina. I have my ring that Sheila sent me and it is on the website now. And since this is a luxury makeup haul, I would go ahead and tell you about my new watch. I put my name on the waiting list 
at the Rolex dealer here in town before I ever got my very first one in my rental house. It's the Oyster Perpetual and it's the new collection. This is called just turquoise, but they call it the Rolex Tiffany. It's Tiffany blue. They have a pink one. I think it's called Candy. They have a green one. And I think there's like an orangey red one. And he called me a couple of weeks ago and they had it in. So I feel it's, it's kind of like a Birkin. You know how you, if you buy a Birkin, it's less expensive to buy it brand new and then you can sell it for more and it's harder to get and all of that kind of stuff. So the thrill is deep with this. I have on a new necklace that Sheila sent me and I have the little catch in the front. And then this is a sapphire and diamond cross that my parents bought me years ago. You might even remember, I think it was in my beginning years of YouTube for Christmas maybe or my birthday. And I will let you go and I will see you this weekend. Bye-bye.